Hi, my name is Greg Suddy. This is Suddy on Soccer, and we are continuing our series with Jacques Ladassure on raising a professional athlete. This is his new book, and this is our continued series. What we're talking about today is just vital to the parents. We're talking about relationships and all of the importance that relationships have to the young athlete growing up and how that plays into their further professional career. Jacques, what are some of the general concepts of this in the home? Well, let, 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 first, let me say this. Obviously, we know that in, in, in our society today, we've got a lot of situations with relationships. We've got problems all over the place. Right. So what we're going to attempt to do is just plant some seeds in Good. your mind. That's Good. it. Because uh, we're going to plant the seeds and they, because all the situations are so different that when we plant the seeds, it's just going to be up to you. You know, you're going to have to figure it out in your own home, basically. Right. And obviously there are so many different dynamics, like what right. you're saying. There's so many different dynamics of a family environment Correct. these days. Uh, you've got the single family, uh, the, the single parent family. You've got the grandparents raising the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've got all kinds of different situations where maybe it's a working couple and, and the younger sister is raising the kid. Yeah. There's a I lot mean, of that. Even, even the, the nowadays, the younger school age kids, the yeah. schools have become something of a, of a nursery. Right, right. You know, um, after school programs and all that kind the, of stuff. The, the whole thing. Um, talk a little bit, Jacques, about your own experience going forward. Now, for me, when uh, I grew up in a situation where um, my dad left my home when I was six years old. So mm. my mom, I was, I was part of a single family home, right? My mom gotcha. is the one that kind of raised us. She had four children. Uh, obviously, it's very difficult. Now, one thing you don't learn how to do there is, as a man, you don't learn how to be a father. Interesting. It's very difficult because yeah. your mom is a great mom, but she's not your dad. So that's that's an issue that, that starts to play out when you start to get older and you start to realize it. For me, what I had to do, I had to do a lot of reading, go to a lot of seminars, talk to a lot of people, uh, get advice from a lot of people. And that's how I became a better father. Did you have a father figure, mentor kind of man in your younger, uh, younger uh, life? Different people, coaches, okay. you know, coaches that I had gotcha. and, the, and the coaches really helped me with that. Uh, people that came in my life here and there, but that was it. That was it. Now, I think it's important to, to right now make a point that although Jacques came from a broken family, you and Claire have been married how long? Uh, it's been 35 years now. And you have a beautiful daughter? Yep, that's right. Going forward, this is yep. awesome, buddy. Yeah, it is. Great it is. success. It is awesome. And, 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 but, it's not easy, though. But it's not easy because, see, um, I had to go learn a lot of that on my own, whereas that could be actually taught in the home. And as we talk about, we talk about more is caught in the home than taught. So if you, if the example of the family in the home is correct, then the kids will pick up a lot more. Okay, so say that again. Uh, more is caught than taught. So your kids are observing you all the time. You're always on. There's oh, no, I there's see. no off switch for a parent. Okay. Right. When you, when you're at home, you're on. When you're outside your home, when you're driving your home, you're on. And gotcha. then when you're on the field. And you're, you're taking your you're taking your children to training and to, to practices and stuff like that in games. You're on. They're watching you. So I have a lesson I'm going to teach my son, and he's going to listen to this or not. That's the taught. Right. But then while I'm just going through the motions Correct. of the daily day to day Correct. interactions with mom and dad and this, or the neighbors, Correct. or any kind of interaction, the kid's sitting there and he's watching it, and that is what's caught. That's what's caught. Okay. Just like. Just like, um, just like one of the things that we talked about that when, when, I, when I get off work and, and, and on my way home, when I get home, right before I go inside my house, I say a prayer because I know what I want to do is separate my home life and my work life. Okay, now that's a huge issue. So a right. lot of people are either don't think about it right. or are incapable of doing it. Correct. Um, and bring that issue from home or from work into the home. Correct. And when you do that, basically what happens is that you don't bring a solution to the problems in your home. You bring, you know, you, you just bring challenges. <laughs> yeah, more so challenges. Basically, what I did when I came, when I, when, I, when I stepped into the house, I was ready. I was ready to serve. I was ready to do whatever. If there was laundry, if there was this, if there was that, I was ready to do it. I wanted my kids to see me come in the house with some sort of joy, with some nice. sort of a servant attitude. Nice. So that way, that would resonate with them instead of something else resonating with them. Like, oh, my father, my dad is grumpy. He just got off work. He needs this, he needs that. I didn't, the negative things from work are not gonna solve your problem. In fact, they're gonna create new ones. That's right. All right. There's another, um, there's another thing that you mentioned earlier that I thought was really cool, and that is advanced decisions. Advanced decisions. Now that's kind of, that, that kind of goes in a lot of different directions. 
on, on its own, but explain what you mean by that. It, it, it does, it goes in a lot of different directions. Now again, this, this thing is an easy thing to say, but it's not an easy thing to actually uh, execute. No, no, I because, get it. So one of the things that I did was, uh, I made a decision that I wasn't gonna go to bed angry. Just like I made the decision that I wasn't gonna walk into my house uh, with the wrong attitude. Both are advanced decisions. Both are advanced decisions. Gotcha. Okay. So now so, when you're, you, you had a solution with the coming into the home. Right. Okay. Going to bed, not going to bed angry though. I mean, very tough. Yeah, because I mean very that tough. has a different subject matter for every moment. It's very tough, and and you, you got to get to the point where you say to yourself, okay, uh, I may need to have to apologize. I right. may need to have to go high. I may have to go low. I may have to put myself last. Whatever you have to do, you have to do because you made this advanced decision. Interesting. One of the uh, cliches I heard once was. I may be right, but what's the consolation for that when you're in the middle of an argument? Right. That's right. So the, that's the, exactly correct. You know, so I mean, that's when going low is an appropriate moment. I mean, step down, make the apology. It's far more valuable to wake up the next morning right. with a beautiful situation instead of having that harbored anger from the night before. Right. And you know, uh, your children are watching all of this. And yep. why, why do we say, why, why do we have all these things? Well, because um, these are conflicts in, that you're going to have in your home. The conflicts are just unavoidable. Situations are going to happen in your life. You're not going to be able to control all the situations. Right. But you have to deal with the conflicts. And the children, has to, the children will see the conflicts. And they'll also see how you deal with it. They'll also right. see if, you, if you've moved past those conflicts. Yes. And, you know, and those things, when they get older, when they have those same situations, they, they, they have a foundation. They have something to go back to. They have something right. to revert to. Or, or maybe they have something that they don't want to use. They, they found out that whatever <laughs> that, that didn't is, work. Didn't work. <laughs> so, but you're giving, them, you're giving them something there. Their relationship is critical because just like, in, just like it would in, in the, in, at work, it does affect your performance on the field. I was just going to ask you, now yeah. make that tie-in yeah. to how all of this conversation, in case anybody's missing the connection, right. is connected to raising a professional athlete. Correct. Because what you see, you see a lot of relationship problems, especially with athletes. I know that a lot of people who is, especially a lot of times when the athletes have retired, right? They're used to a certain lifestyle, living a certain way, Ooh. going uh, their, their time, the money they make and, and all of that stuff, all of a sudden they retire and it changes. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's the retirement part. And we see a lot of separation in retirement. And then of course, during their careers, we see a lot of flares, a lot of things that go on because again, they're always on. Yeah. You know, the camera is on them. And today with social media, with all the stuff that goes on, wow. everybody's got a camera everywhere you go. That's right. So you have to be in a certain behavior because we talked about building a brand, right? right? That's what an athlete does. So that's the thing that makes it difficult for the person to be a certain way all the time. Jacqueline Seward, thanks for joining me again. Raising a professional athlete, this was relationships. Keep your eye out for the next, uh, the next subject. Great. Thanks. Thank you. All right. All right. It's been great sharing with you today. This has been a passion of mine for such a long time. You can contact me in the email below and also purchase the books in the links below.